Welcome to Pocket Game Developer. This is an app that was created about a year or two ago. Maybe don't get me, don't quote me on that. Cardenas, Cardenas, Dr. Warble Hat, Cow Cow, and Smoky Avocado. Uh, I am related to Smoky Avocado, so that's why I found this app. And I've had fun with it ever since. I'm gonna go through it real quick, um, explaining briefly what this app will do. I'll probably do some sets of these. This is unscripted, completely off the cuff, so bear with me. So import games. Um, here, when you join the Discord server and you go into share games, there's a whole list of, of people that have posted their games. You can import those. You can right now make them as your own and basically steal their work, basically, or uh, do anything, uh, edit them however you want. Um, but then they will show up and it will automatically go to your downloads folder. This, as I push import plus, See all these lists of the games that I have downloaded over the long year. And uh, many of them I have posted on, on the website here. So I click on Mach 1 Demo. It doesn't have a good highlighter, but you can kind of tell that I'm pushing it. Um, and then if you push Import, it will import those games. So Import, give it a second. So three games imported. Um, there you go. Uh, TV does not work for ads, settings, just shows the latest update as well as the link to Discord and YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and uh, Instagram. So if I push the profile picture, it's not working. And January is spelled absolutely horrendously. So I've imported a game. Make a game. So here's the list of the games that I imported. Alter Ego, Genesis, Santa's Grand Adventure, Quincy... Um, and these other ones that I have been working on myself. So um, if I go play, I can rename it. I can delete it. I can go as I play it. It's loading the editor. Do, 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 do. So, as I can go in here, I can go look on settings, I can see, okay, Alter Ego Genesis, uh, the developer name, um, they haven't, that was a newer feature before this came out. If I push on the camera button, I can change the background. I can also change the camera to follow, let me get out of here so you can see this. You can follow the player, you can have it have a better zoom or a worse zoom, depending on which route you're going. Um, I can change the background to be all red. And then I can push the flag, and that'll go to the different levels. Um, I can create a new user interface scene. We'll worry about that later. I can choose different levels, but again, there's only one level on here. Oops. So I just clicked uh, to add one, and then I accidentally clicked stop, so it got out of this. So I'll go back into it real quick and watch our scientist run and run and run and run. But things I like about this app, um, it's, it's a lot easier to understand and to grasp compared to some other uh, create your own type of games that I've played or I've seen. Um, and it doesn't have all of the necessary tools for creating your own game from scratch, but it's getting there. It's given you some options that you can play with and you can kind of manipulate them according to what's going on. So um, as I'm here, I can push on colliders and it should be able to see, see those red lines, should be able to see the green, um, to see what is um, influencing your character. Oops, I don't know if I did that or not, but... Um, so here's a green, little green square here, and that will come to play in just a little bit. Oops, I don't know what I did there. I erased it, and I erased the, the map. I'm just going to put those there. You can see that I messed up. Okay, I'm just going to play it so you can kind of get an idea. This is a really, really good game, by the way. Um, I can find out who made it. I'll probably post it in my description here. But um, a lot of different things. You can see my green. 
I've got a jump. Got an NPC I can talk to. I've got a dash, pushing the B button. I've got a, a wall grab. Wee! Go talk to the king. Talk to the blacksmith. And when I hit this green thing that was invisible, I boop. Player swapper. So now I can attack. I can't wall. Cl I can't wall climb anymore. This NPC goes crack crazy, but I can now attack. So go to the training yard. Yeah, this is very well done. That's an action here. Here's the the monster. To kill it, which is kind of difficult because of the the way this monster set up, but. Anyway, long story short, you can do a whole bunch of different things. So let's get out of here. And let's just create a new game from scratch. So I can download other people's games. I can take their sprites. I can save them. And we'll go more into that later. But as we boop, 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 beep, boop, 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 play our little tune here. We'll go into make a game. Make a new game, I should say. <clears throat> All right, new game. There's different kinds of games you can create right now. Right now, Endless Runner, whenever you just you push, you just run, and once you push it, you jump. Like someone made like a, with that flappy game, uh, the bird flap game. I can't think of the name of it. Gosh darn it. Um, every time, every time you push the screen, you'll jump or you'll do, you'll do something. Um, a lot of space games are involved with that one right now. Platformer, that's a typical one that everyone's really playing with right now, more, most common. Um, tower defense, obviously tower defense, it still needs a lot of work, but it's going to get there. And top game, you can, top down game like Zelda, you can move up, down, left, right. And top game, top down game two, well, I'll say that ten times fast, top down game two you can, uh, as you tap, you'll move to where that needs to go. So there's a couple games out there like that. So let's just do, for simplicity's sake, let's just do a platformer. And I'm going to include the default options, the default objects here. 